Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Lisa's Paper Passion. I remembered my channel sign today. I'm so excited. Um, I just wanted to do a little video to show um, my latest design team project for Gladys Moreno, my good friend who owns Heart of a Gypsy Soul Designs. Uh, we do have a Facebook group for all of um, Heart of a Gypsy Soul lovers and crafters in general to come and join us and I'll put a link to um, the Facebook group there. Um, I've been on Gladys's design team for several months now since she opened her store, like officially opened her store. She's always had her store and I'm honored to be one of the design, design team members. There's Malika, Linda, of course, Gladys also designs and we have some wonderful guest design team members that come, come and design, um, every month. So let me go ahead and show you my project for the month of November. This is one of two projects that I'll be doing. She always lets us, um, work on one mini which she specializes in that you'll see and then the second one can be pretty much what what we want to work on which is which is one of the things I love about her because then my mind gets set free and I can do whatever I want but uh, with this I can do whatever I want too so don't get me wrong because her kits are gorgeous so again she specializes in chipboard kits and she pretty much sends you everything you need and then I just add, um, you know, my, you don't, you know, could just add your own touches to the project. Um, so this is the birdhouse kit. It is really, really cute. I use every single page of it. There was, let's see, one, two, three, four of the pages with the birdhouse. And then you'll see that, um, these smaller pages with the scallops inside. And there's three of those. So there's seven pages all together, inc including, um, well, that's the front and back. So just to start off, the cover of it, um, I really want it to be, you know, of course it's a birdhouse. I want it to be about birds and the little um, resin bird and that Bridget had made me in the swap. And I decided to um, not do the leaves green. I embossed them uh, clear and bought. First I used my chalk ink. Um, this is all chipboard that she sends you. So I, um, this is just, believe it or not, this is just chalk ink. All I did is rubbed the Prima chalk edgers. I'm trying to find one. I'm sure you all know what it looks like. Um, but I just took that and it was like really um, a, a juicy pad. I think this is the color that I used, Rusty Bucket. And I just took it and just dabbed it all over and it, you know, it soaked up the coloring really well. I did the same thing with the leaves and I really wanted it to match the, the teal um, paper that Gladys has included in the kit. So that's why these ones are teal. And then uh, I did the clear embossing. I'm sorry, that was my tablet dinging. And then she included some fencing. Not fencing like the sport, but <laughs> fences like this. It's a chipboard, raw chipboard fence. So I cut it down. And um, I didn't use all of it, which I'm glad because Nancy has um, posted a project of some really neat fence, altered fences, believe it or not, really cute, Nancy Martinez, of course, um, but I took the chipboard and uh, gessoed it white, and then used this really neat, um, oh, I forgot the name of this, it's like a metallic, oh, I, I, it has a name to it, but it's basically an embossing powder, and you sprinkle it on, and look, it just kind of like meshes all the, the three colors in there, there's gold, and pink and white and it's gorgeous so I put that on there and then I just took some flowers from my stash and just kind of made it look like um, you know the flowers are taking over the fence kind of thing so that's the front and then the back of each of these I left blank because I wanted to add some um, journaling spots later so um, this 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 is the paper that you will get with the kit it's gorgeous this is prima paper I believe and then this page, I put some lace on it, and then um, again, I just, um, let's see, what did I do? Oh, I used green embossing powder with this one. I bought it a long time ago, and I was dying to use it, and it was perfect. And it's a little resin piece and a piece of ribbon. On the back of that side, I made these doilies using these Cherry Lynn. Um, I love this doily dye. It's this doilies and exotics dyes. Um, you can get this from Christine Sauville and her blog uh, is because every picture tells a story. I'll put the link to her blog, um, which is her store. But these doilies are gorgeous. Look, 
They're very, very intricate and I had no problems running this through my Big Shot. So that's that page. And then the next, let's see, three pages that are that are very similar to this. I did kind of the similar layout. This is a chipboard that you will, um, actually I'm trying to think. No, this is one that she had sent me previously as a design team uh, kit. But um, these are available in her store. They're like frames. They're really ornate. And I decided to leave this raw because we're going with the nature birdhouse theme. I wanted to just leave it raw and instead embellish it and bring the beauty out. So this is some trim that I used and then half of a um, crochet doily with a little heart. And this is like a, these birdhouses are like 3D chipboard birdhouses. Just put some, this trim is available at Gladys' store. I'll try to remember everything that, that she has available. I'm sorry, this is kind of close up. I'm recording on my tablet. And so this is just a Prima flower with a, um, a doily that I bought from Michaels. The back of that is plain and then this little page is kind of like a little fun waterfall. Um, I don't want to take it apart because it's kind of difficult. Okay, let's just do it. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, I guess I'm not going to be able to do it. I, I wanted to attach the button to be fun, but here, let's see if I could do this. See, there's like a little waterfall for journaling. And then this birdcage die that, again, that I got from from uh, Christine from her store. It's the cutest birdcage die. And it comes with the front. I'm trying to look for the die, but I don't think I have it around here. This is the back of it. This is one with tilde paper. It is so cute. I know I'm stopping in the middle of the video, but I have to show you this because it's adorable. So I just use this part of it. Um, to match the paper that Gladys had provided with the kit to put in the front. So that's right there. And then the back of that is just seam binding from the front. And here's another page with a similar decoration that I used before. Not decoration, I should say embellishments. Um, this page is fun also because again I used the, the, the bird cage die but this time I did use the front and back of it and then just put some um, glitter on it and then I used a piece of the fence as the front of the pocket. This is an actual pocket with a tag and the, um, I've mentioned this before in my videos but when Gladys sends you a kit she'll send you like the extra pieces that were cut out. I don't have any left. I've pretty much used every single piece. I think this is the only piece that I have left that I've that I used. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm trying to look around my craft area, although it's a mess. But um, she uses everything. I mean, she uses... Um, I try to use everything that she sends me, including the paper, which is what I use to make this tag. There's a resin butterfly. And then as I flip the page... Um, let me see if the other page had a birdie. Sorry, I'm just going to flip back for a second. Oh, yeah, I forgot if I showed you the birdie. I made this. <laughs> the other page has it too. Let me flip it forward. I'm sorry. I hope I'm not making you dizzy. Um, but again, this is the same doily th that I used um, the doily die from. And then this is a piece of um, a, a chipboard bird that she sent in her kit. And I just noticed some a glue glob right there. And then I used some of the meadow flowers that she sent me to make um, kind of the tail for the bird. And I used that on. I did that on the same page. Same. Uh, method on the other pages you saw and then this is the last inside page it's really fun to you so all you have to do is just pop a picture in there and it's a pretty good size album I'm trying to find my ruler so I could measure the space inside so let's see you could put like a two by a two by three picture in there really cute so another, um, this is this page, it has the kind of like the corrugated, again, it's, that comes in a kit. And then the back, I really, really liked. Um, I kind of continued the fence theme. And um, these are from Gladys' store. They're actually charms. They come like this, like this piece, but I just cut this piece off of it because I wanted to use it as the center for the flower. 
all my goodies from her that I that I save for my design team projects. So, um, and then this, this is the same method that I um, did on the front as far as the fencing. I really like that texture. This comes in a couple of other, this, this um, doohickey, <laughs> I don't know the name of it. It comes in other colors too, but of course I can't find it right now. So anyway, that's my, um, oh, the last thing is the spine. I did, she did send me three of the rings binder ring so I did use that and then this I didn't make this it was a um, bottle cap swap with I think her name is Shirlene she had sent me three of them it was a swap that I was in um, and she had sent me three different ones and this one I loved how the greenish mint color matched the project and I like something dangling from my minis so I added it on there and then as far as the spine I just add a whole bunch of trims and seam binding and just a whole bunch of stuff. I really, really like that fluffy look because it looks like really vintagey and birds nesty looking. Um, I did say nesty, which is the nest. But anyway, that sounded funny. <laughs> so thanks for stopping by. Thank you for all my new subscribers that have come to my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, I did upload right before this a thank you, but I'll say it again. Thank you for all those who voted for me for the Crafty Academy Awards. I'm really excited and excited and humbled that I won. I really appreciate everyone voting for me. Thank you, everyone. If you have any questions about anything that I do, um, please message me or leave me a comment. I do read all my comments and I'll leave a link to Gladys's channel to um, Gladys's store I meant and then also um, I'll leave a link to Christine's store so you can check out her dies and I think that's it thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video and um, I do have a project video coming up which I'll do in a couple of days so stay tuned and um, have a wonderful day God bless